What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of the S2K project. Today we're getting a little bit closer to making this thing into a race car. Today we're going to be installing a brand new carbon fiber seat as well as a hard dog harness bar and Cusco racing harnesses. This is going to be sweet. For the seat we actually went with the Brid Zeta 3 carbon fiber back. Let's go ahead and open it. I don't want to do it all the way until we're ready to install, but oh, so nice. So this is going to be going into the S2K today. You guys know, if you've watched the videos a lot, I love driver mods and having harness bar harnesses and a racing seat in the S2000 is just going to completely change the driving experience, which I am stoked for. So let's go and get started. So this is the Brid VS3 in carbon fiber that we're gonna be doing today. I am hyped on this. They only had one left in stock. Um, I'm just worried about me as the driver being on track with harnesses and, and a racing seat. So I will be good with the Brid. And then here is the hard dog harness bar that we're gonna be installing today as well. All in black, keep us safe in the S2000. So today's install is gonna be awesome. All right, first things first here, I'm gonna go ahead and drop the soft top and start removing the stock seat. So today, helping me with the install, I have Ken over here. Ken is gonna help me install the harness bar because I heard that's that's pre that's a pretty hard job. Yeah, it's a lot of stuff we gotta take out. Yeah, so we're gonna be uh, doing a little teamwork here while I start installing the bridge seat. He is gonna start working on getting the soft top off and putting in the, the harness bar because uh, it's a lot of work. So I'm using a 12 to get out the stock seat. Easy enough, the stock S2000 seat is out. Here's a little comparison of the stock seat versus the Brid Vios 3 seat over there. So before I go ahead and mount in the new seat rails and the seat, I'm gonna go ahead and start helping Ken uh, remove everything that we need to remove to get the harness bar installed. All right, Ken, what's the plan for up here? What needs to be removed and stuff? Uh, I most likely all this back stuff's gonna be- All this removed. plastic and stuff? Yeah. Okay, cool. I'll go ahead and start on that. And I'll try not to break anything. <laughs> no promises. Okay, plastic is out over here. Cool. Now this is very tedious. There's tons of like little clips and little screws that we're gonna have to take off to get all of this plastic from the backing on the seat out. And Ken just found a little secret compartment back here that I had no idea about. Boom. I had no idea. How do you even open that? You pull it. That's oh, crazy. I guess right. Oh wait, no. I think you open this and then you. Oh, there you go. What? I had no idea. Plastics are out of the S2K. That was a nightmare. There's so many just like little clips and bolts, but we got the plastics out. Now we can start making some real progress. Next thing is to take off these stock roll bars, right? This, this, this is gonna be out. Oh, man. Everything. Everything. No more. Okay, good news, we, we finished up getting all of the plastics out of the car. We removed both of these stock roll bars and now we're removing kind of this uh, bracket piece right here in the back. Oh, oh there yeah. you go. Dang, that was easy. Good call. Sick. Move this stock bracket piece now and we are actually good to go to go ahead and install the hard dog roll bar and this is gonna be sick. The interior of this car is just like, it's gonna feel good. Okay. Looks pretty crazy back here with all of, without all of that junk and stuff. We're gonna clean this up a little bit and we are about to be all set and good to go. All right. 
For those of you who actually don't know, Ken is actually a Time Attack driver. He drives Hondas and he's actually getting one of his cars prepared for the World Time Attack in Australia, which is actually pretty crazy. So hopefully I get to do some driving with Ken and S2K. News, me and Ken figured out how to actually get the roll bar in without having to remove the entire soft top, which saves us like so much time, but we actually got it in there. Now we're gonna go ahead and mark where we need to drill the holes because this does get chassis mounted, which is gonna be pretty rad. And the interior of this car already looks so awesome with just the roll bar in it. Wow, this is gonna be sick. Fitment on this roll bar is actually incredible. So we're taking a look at what it looks like with the soft top on and it actually just like the fitment is perfect. So like I said, we have to go ahead and start marking where we're gonna drill the holes and start mounting. Look at that, completely transforming this car today. All right, Ken, what are you thinking about how to mark the hole? So I'm, so this is, there's two factory holes right here, right? right. I'm gonna bolt it on first, so at least it's tighter. And then I'm gonna start putting pilot holes on all these holes and then start drilling through it. And then once we got the holes, I'm gonna clean the bottom and put the base plate back on. Nice. Uh, this size, I know we gotta cut the chassis a little bit okay. to put the backing plate on. And then after that, we should be good to go. Yep. So Ken went ahead and did his side. I drilled the holes in my side and now we have gone all the way through the chassis, which is pretty crazy. We're gonna have to lift this car up and actually mount it from the bottom of the car. So this is gonna be pretty cool. Making a really good progress here. Ken, what's the plan now that okay, we have? So we have the holes right here, three holes right here. Right. And then we also have uh, two holes right here. And then this part we gotta cut out. Oh, really? Yeah, so this part we gotta cut out for the, the additional holes. <laughs> And then I'm about to stick this plate in, but I need to make a little bit more clearance for it. Okay. For the main hoop. So this is the base plate for the main hoop. In? All right, we have really good news. We officially 100% have a harness and roll bar in the car. This thing is completely chassis mounted to the S2000 and it looks great. And I think it's gonna make the car feel great, feel great as well, give it some extra support. Now that the roll bar is installed, we're gonna be moving on to the seat rail, of course. And then we're actually gonna be hard mounting the 6.2 skull harness uh, to the chassis of the car as well. And then we can install the Brid racing seat. This is gonna be good. All right. So we are currently test fitting the Brid uh, seat bracket here and Ken is marking holes where we're gonna drill into the body of the car to mount the harnesses. Ultimate safety here. Yes. <laughs> yep, you're through. So first hole, watching very closely to make sure that we aren't hitting any lines or going through anything that we aren't supposed to go through. So this is carpet, there's the hole. Cool. So a couple more of those to go. Nice. There you go. What's the plan? We got the holes drilled. What's next? Okay, so we are putting this backing plate underneath the floor of the car. And then we're putting this eyeball on top of it. And then so the harness is going to hook on here. So if anything, it won't pull through the floor because of that backing plate. Right. Yeah. So, so we are going to be secure. This is a full-on oh yeah. safety here. Mm -hmm. All of our harness mounting points have been installed. Now it's time to actually do the side brackets on the brid seats. So let's go over there. Let's see. This thing is so sick. Should they go to fly it out? Okay. Tight? This is perfect. This is perfect? Like yeah. this? 100%. This is what you want? Yeah. Okay, don't move. 
Sweet, and then you'll be able to space out the wheel a little bit once mm -hmm. we get the hub on there. So that way you'll have a little bit more uh, leg clearance. Okay. So height, everything's good, right? Yeah, it was perfect. Perfect. Just figured out where my seating position is and now we are working on the harnesses. Making some uh, some real progress here. We have the passenger side seat in. We just finished up the harnesses for the bridge seat right here, which we have, oh wait, I didn't even put this through. I guess I didn't need to. Finally done. Now we're just gonna do the shoulder straps. Once the shoulder straps are done, we have finished up. All right, let's start her up, see if there's any lights for airbag and stuff. The mold. Thank you. We have finally finished the S2000. Brand new Brid carbon fiber bucket seat is in. Hard dog harness bar with the Cusco harnesses. Oh, I cannot wait to go get my first drive in this car, but I wanna give a huge thank you to Art of Attack for helping me source all of these parts and of course letting me install this stuff in their shop. Angel's the man for hooking it all up. Thank you, dude, and thank you to Ken for helping me out today. But uh, I am hyped for this. Let's go ahead, we're gonna take some shots in the shop because their shop looks really awesome, but we're also gonna go for the first drive and check this thing out. exactly what I wanted for this car. And we don't even have like suspension or wheels and tires on it yet to make it feel grippy and stuff. Like Jay's racing exhaust, buckets, harnesses, like <laughs> it's so good. All right, where am I going? All right guys, we are going top down all the way home, full hour and a half. so good. I cannot wait to get this thing on the track and really be able to push this thing to its limits and have you guys see it. Uh, it's going to be a definite learning experience for me, but that's what I'm ready for. I'm so excited just to get some seat time in this thing, but that is going to be the end of today's video. I'm just going to enjoy ripping around in this thing until I get home. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you haven't already, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel because we have tons of more awesome content coming up. I will see you guys in the next build update.